young racer up and coming in this area, and it's good to see that he's branching out, uh, going to the King's Royal. Yeah, definitely, and I think it's going to be awesome to watch him, um, you know, see what he can do at Eldora, and, um, you know, just in general, on what he's going to do this year. I mean, if Honda does travel like he does, uh, especially for Port Royal, there's a good chance we can talk to the Jonestown Jet come next October about um, being the Port Royal Track Champion. Yeah, hey, for sure. Hey, guys, just uh, real quick. Uh, sorry we cut out there a bit. We lost connection. I think our Wi-Fi signal went down and something happened, but we're back. Uh, sorry if you missed anything. We just got done with Brock Zierfuss. Um Big schedule on hand, 80-plus uh, races, I believe. He's heading out to Attica. He's going to do Eldora. A few other outlaw races, a little bit of traveling out to New York, I think. And uh, real pleasure to talk to the guy. Yeah, great kid. I mean, sorry if it uh, cut out. <laughs> Uh, it's technology, ladies and gentlemen. We're, and, it's we're, live, and it's live, too. And it's live. You know, it's uncut. We're, we're trying our best here. We apologize. But uh, Brock Zierfoss, thank you once again for coming on our show. Kevin Thomas Jr., thank you uh, for coming on our show. Good luck to both of you in 2017. And uh, it's going to be great, boys. The icebreaker. Question is... Well, Could I be right? According to you and your schedule you sent out this morning, your little weather channel preview, I don't think you're feeling very confident about racing next well, weekend. Well, it wasn't me. I didn't send out any weather. All I know is I looked at the weather, and as of right now, they're calling for rain, but it's going to be warm, but that's so far out. The weathermen are always wrong, yep. so maybe they're going to be wrong again, and could we get the icebreaker underway at the fabulous Lincoln Speedway? Probably better, or else I just burned a vacation day at work. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's always tough this time of year, you know, to try and get this race in. You know, February is such a weird month. You know, like one week we'd be piled in, you know, a foot and a half of snow. Next week we'd be out in shorts in sixty degree weather, like it's supposed to be this weekend. <laughs> so who knows what's going to be next weekend? There's still a whole week the weather can change yet. Um, I hope it gets straightened out, but I'm ready to see some racing here in Pennsylvania, and I'm kind of jealous of people in Florida right now see, getting to see what they're seeing, although not really that jealous because uh, that Arcat card just put it on the pole or set quick time tonight. Yeah, for sure. Donnie Schott sets quick time down Evolution Night with a 13.271. So make sure you go check this broadcast out on Dirt Vision. Dot com to see night number two at Volusia for the Articat All-Star Circuit of Champions. Before we go, who do you think's got the hot shoe tonight? <laughs> oh, Justin, you go first. Well, real quick before we get into that, I just want to mention if, you, if you're not ready and you, and you want to get your racing season started this week, and there's some cool events happening. Oh. We got Motorama, uh, for the 18th and 19th, so Saturday and Sunday at the Farm Show Complex. So tons of vendors, uh, Robot Wars. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, yeah. Go-karts, quarter it's midgets. Like, it's like the old Robot Wars. RC they Racing, like the, Arena Cross. Or they put the little like knives now on the ends of the robots, and they go beat the hell <laughs> okay. out of each other. So it's something I don't have so, time for. So, so I'll just go So to nothing to do with hey, racing. It was in the ad, okay? It was in the ad. <laughs> but on top of that, uh, another big event, uh, Ashley Capetta. She's a popular 358 driver. She runs, uh, I think, Lincoln, Williams Grove. I saw her uh, Monday night. She's real excited. Uh, she's got some sponsors on the car. And the car, she's going to debut it, I believe, Saturday night, uh, February 18th at the Irish Town Fire Company. It's her fifth annual Night at the Races event. It's at 934 Irish Town Road in New Oxford. Uh, DJ Bill Capetta will be on hand. Spinning tunes, small games of chance, dime toss, carnival games, giveaways, and raffles, and, the, and an auction. Tickets are $20 and available at the door at 5 o'clock. Uh, dinner will be served at 6.30. And there's some pretty nice stuff up for auction here. I saw they have a signed Danny, Ham or Danny Hamlin helmet. Uh, I saw Logan Wagner. He threw up uh, a wing panel. So there's a lot of neat stuff up there for auction. Yeah, for sure. They're going to have a great time. And we also like to wish Ashley Capetta good luck in her 358 in the 2017 season. So let's go back to what Bert had to say. Justin, we'll start off with you. Who do you think has the hot shoe for night number two down here at Volusia? You know, I, I don't know if it's going to be outside the box or anything, but a guy I like to have a shot to win tonight is Brian Brown. He seems to have been floating around the top five, top ten all week. He's always fast, and... Everyone's going to be focused on shots. Everyone's, you know, Christopher Bell in that 14 car after what Larson was able to do last night and the regular guys, but I like Brian Brown tonight to take the win. All right. You take Brownie. I'm going to take David Gravel. Car is going to be real good. He was second quick tonight. Uh, not far from shots, so we'll see. He still has to transfer uh, 
through the heat race to get into the dash and, and you see how you do in the dash and the redraw and everything else. So I'm going to take David Gravel. Bert, who do you got? Wait, you know what? I If that 14 car acts like the way it does last night, tonight, Chris Bell's going to win this race. He looks so good. Uh, or Kyle Larson looks so good in there. And I don't know if they're going to change too much from that car last night. So Christopher Bell's my pick. Qualified six at a 13-4-5-2. Also, two announcements. Uh, uh, the low rider, Dale Blaney, he'll be um, he's uh, out for the night with a motor issue. And also TJ Michaels is also out as well. And I believe I saw that we have another guy going underneath a uh, engine change here. Um, let's see here. Uh, yes, uh, we do. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, gravel is undergoing a motor change as well. Well, we'll see. They're just going to put, uh, for me, they're just going to put a better, uh, bigger right. engine in and uh, get the W tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, we did have technical difficulties. Uh, if Honda does travel like he does. We apparently, uh, that's me. That's me. I got it. You're good. It's live, it's, it's live, live folks. That, that's all I have. You're having awesome. Once again, <laughs> thank you for everybody joining in. Thank you for uh, writing down your questions and comments in the fully injected motorsports comment section. We thank you okay. <laughs> for joining in. Everybody have a great night. Make sure you turn over to DirtVision.com. Enjoy the races, and we'll see everybody next Thursday.